offering you the message of salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, how we can be in heaven. And we need to understand there's either heaven or hell, and it all depends what you do with Jesus Christ as to where you'll be throughout all of eternity. I want to be reading uh, 1 Thessalonians in chapter 4. Uh, Moreover then we beseech you, brethren, this is written to Christians, to believers, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please God, so ye would abound more and more. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honour, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such. As we also have forewarned you and testified, for God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. Again, this is written to Christians, to believers. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but God, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. And indeed ye do it toward all the brethren which are in all Macedonia, but we did beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more, and that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business, and to work with your own hands as we commanded you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that ye may have lack of nothing. But I would not to have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that is, the believers who have uh, died, uh, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain under the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep, or shall not go before those that are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Now this is what we commonly call the rapture or the translation of the church, if you like. It's when the Lord Jesus comes down into the air to take the believers to be forever with himself. I wonder will you be left behind to go through the tribulation period upon this earth. A terrible time of judgment, the last three and a half years, is called the Great Tribulation. No need to be left behind in any of those seven years, but you need right now to be saved. You need to get right with God. You need to have forgiveness for your sins, and have peace with God, and it's through our Lord Jesus Christ. There's no other way of peace. The Lord Jesus Christ, it says of him that he has made peace through the blood of his cross. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ had to be shed upon the cross of Calvary for you and for me when he was crucified. Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures, and he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures. I wonder, are you saved? Are you a child of God? Have you come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your saviour or will he have to be your judge? It's either one or the other. Saviour or judge, what will it be for you? Heaven or hell? Now your soul is hanging in the balance right now, this Arvo my friend. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul will be saved. But if you don't, your soul will remain in a lost condition, heading down to hell because your sins have not been forgiven. I'm looking forward to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ into the air to take the believers to be forever with himself. What about you? Are you ready? You know, the Bible says, um, prepare to meet thy God. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, yet God will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. 
We need to come in repentance toward God. That's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. This is what God wants for you. This other, my friend, that you would get right with him, that you would receive forgiveness for your sins. It's only possible through the once for all sacrifice of Jesus Christ upon the cross. As I said, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Which means that God wants you and I to be with him for all eternity in heaven. We cannot be there apart from Jesus Christ. We've got to come to faith in Christ. We've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and as the Bible says, and thou shalt be saved. Wonderful thing to know that your sins are forgiven, you have peace with God and it's all through the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one who wants to make peace through the blood of his cross, as I've said, as I've already quoted, he made peace through the blood of his cross. But we've got to believe upon him. We've got to come in repentance toward God. That's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that God promises you everlasting life. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Are you prepared to do that? Are you prepared to get right with God? Have forgiveness for your sins? You see, it's either heaven or hell. And it, these things are eternal. We're not talking about even a million or a thousand or a million years. We're talking about eternity. Eternity where? Where will you be one second after you die? Will you be in heaven? The only way you can be there is through the Lord Jesus Christ. If you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, well, that means you'll be in hell. God does not want you to go down to hell. He wants us, all of us, to be with him for all eternity in heaven. We cannot get there apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's offering you eternal salvation through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Will you come to Christ? Will you believe on him? Will you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and become a child of God? The Bible says we are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So you've got to come to Christ to be saved. He's the one who died on the cross. He shed his precious blood upon the cross in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. I wonder where you headed. What road are you on? Are you on that broad road that leads down to hell and destruction? It's the highway to hell, my friend. Most people are on their way down to hell. And God wants you to get off of that highway to hell, that broad road that leads down to hell. He wants you to get onto the narrow road that leads under heaven. And the only way you can get there is entering through the door. Now the Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in. Notice what he said, I am the door. He's not saying I am a door. There are not many ways to heaven. There is one way to heaven, and that is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Be assured of the fact that man-made religion is absolutely useless. It will just lead us down to hell. God does not want us to go down to hell and that's why the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. The question is, is he your Saviour? Yes, I am the door, he said, by me, that is by the Lord Jesus Christ. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Are you saved this afternoon? Are you headed for heaven? Are you still on that broad road, as I've said, that leads down to hell and destruction? God wants you to get off that road and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That can be yours. You can get right with God. Your sins can be totally blotted out through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. What have you done with the Lord Jesus Christ? Is he your saviour or will he have to be your judge? It's either one or the other. Heaven or hell. It's so all determined by what you do with the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. One more time, repentance toward God, that's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul 
will be saved. It's through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ which he shed for us upon the cross of Calvary. Hope you understood the message. If you're interested in this, look me up youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great night.